The biggest mistake every developer makes when learning about accessibility is not having clarity on the right order of learning about accessibility. This approach is holding you back. But now you are at the right place because by the end of this video, you will have five simple steps to turn your web application into accessibility superstar. I am Param Singh or you might know me as Skills Singh and I'm here to help you become a web accessibility developer. The biggest mistake is that developers often overuse RE attribute, but that's not all. They'll add screen reader only content where it's not needed. And then worst of all, put tab focus on every single element. I have been there struggling and wondering what am I doing wrong? But with experience, I figured out a roadmap to a beautiful accessible web application. So let's dive into my five steps to master web accessibility as a developer. Before we jump in, smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm get this out to other awesome developers like you and subscribe to join our community of accessibility champions. The first step and the most underrated is using semantic HTML. I know, sounds basic, but hear me out. Semantics is about giving meaning to your markup, like using header, nav, main, or a button tag. Then guess what? Screen readers like JAWS and NVDA can magically make sense of your layout. It's like giving them a map instead of leaving them lost in the code jungle. But that's not all. Semantic HTML doesn't just help users. It makes your site keyboard friendly, future proof, and even boost your SEO. Then your content isn't just accessible. It's easier to maintain update and even discover on google step 2 vcag or web content accessibility guidelines they are built on four principles perceivable a user must be able to use any of their three senses to either see it hear it or feel it operable make it usable even without a mouse understandable use simple language avoid errors and provide consistency robust ensure that a user can use any browser any operating system and any device to use your website focus on meeting level a and double a to call your website vcag conformant step three tools imagine removing up to 70 percent of accessibility issues without even trying hard too good to be true here's what you need to know axe accessibility linter detects issues in your code editor giving you real-time feedback it's like a spell jigger but for accessibility axe dev tools works right in your browser one click and boom you see what's broken and how to fix it andy double check your tabbing order heading hierarchy and page structure but remember you need to test manually with the keyboard and screen reader to ensure real accessibility we spoke about overusing varia but when used right it's a game changer aria helps make your dynamic applications fully accessible by providing updates to a screen reader user for example aria live and roll alert is used to announce dynamic updates. But here's the golden rule. If you can use semantic HTML instead, do that first. Then bring in ARIA for dynamic stuff only. Last step, invest in yourself. Yes, you heard it right. Invest in yourself. Accessibility isn't a set it and forget it deal. It's always evolving. And here's how to stay ahead of the game. Watch free YouTube videos on Skills Sing YouTube channel. I post a video every Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Sign up for the Accessibility Weekly Newsletter. It's like accessibility in your inbox. And lastly, follow my articles on medium.com links in description below getting started with accessibility can feel overwhelming but trust me take it one step at a time and then you will realize how rewarding it is to create websites everyone can use especially for people with disabilities drop a comment below what's your biggest challenge in accessibility like share and subscribe for more tips together let's make the web a better place for everyone